uh, come on. I'm just trying to relax over here. What? It, what? What's this edition? So this is our Thanksgiving Day special extravaganza. What? <laughs> Surprise! And That's not in my contract. Okay. Uh, did I agree to this? Uh, when did I sign for this? Okay. Well, I, I don't know where your contract is right now, but... Gosh darn it, I always need a copy of that on hand. I Today I am presenting to you the Muse making of absolution documentary just recently released on the band's youtube channel ah all right are you ready yes this should be interesting here we go all right hit me let's do it ah barring the s Behind the scenes. Whoa. They stomp like that when they want their porridge. I want my porridge. Shocking. Very dramatic. Um, that one originally was the one that had big water songs, but we ended up taking it away because it was too much. Um, but there were two other songs on the album that have got strings on. And, um, and I met this woman, a lady from England, um, called Audrey Wiley, mm -hmm. and, uh, and together we wrote the strings. And um, it's something I, it's something I wanted to just to, just to experiment and just to see if I was able to, you know, collaborate with someone else on writing strings, um, which was really interesting. Really. And the songs that I've used them in are not heavy guitar songs; uh, they're mostly piano-based songs. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the piano, the piano and the strings are made to go together. You know, so yes, yes, when yes. You get the piano going and the strings going together, it's just like the one like balances the other perfectly. Makes sense. Very wise. あの、ま、番組的に俺来たのは、俺って基本的にスリーピースマニアで、ま、古くはジミヘンドリックスエクスペリアンスで、そのスティービー・サラスとま、スリーピースのおかげがついてくんだけど、もちろんニルバーナ
I don't know, I'm not sure where we're actually headed right now is I think we're going to take some time out, a lot of time out first this year and make another album. Yeah, I think we're going to look, look for some new areas. I think, I think it'll be like, uh, we're going to look for like, I think somebody's going to be extremely heavy. And somebody's gonna be extremely Who's heavy talking? Why am I seeing someone's finger? What's going on here? I think someone's interviewing them. Well, thanks so much. Who filmed this? It's behind the scenes. Behind the finger. Change of positions. Is that Chris on drums? What the? Well, the truth is revealed. <laughs> Dom's not actually playing on any of the tracks. I'm waiting for a Dom solo album. Am I right? Come on. Come on, Dom. Bust it out. Fusion. The right, person who filmed this needs a lesson in filming. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Well, just because behind the scenes doesn't mean you can't show the drummer when he's playing the drums. I think there's a camera that's just set up on a tripod. All right, fire that tripod. Okay. I think they're... Matt is supposed to be your focus right now. Oh, well, I'm all about the drums. I know. Nice. I like the way that sounds. I feel like I'm watching a ghost hunting video. Lisbon. The thing is, a lot of those songs we thought were really good at the time, like, yeah. eternally missed like that. Uh -huh. We thought that was one of, we thought that was like the best song we had. Yeah. And now it's not even gonna be it's not even gonna be a B side, I don't think. Oh jeez. Come on. Pull those songs out. We're missing too many classic songs that never got recorded. Well, something weird was happening, Wally. 
It's an interesting click track. That is raunchy sounding. Four four. That's bizarre. Sixteen and six. I like it. Soldano. Jazz drums, uh -huh. like jazz drum kit over the top of kind yeah. of a dance piece. It's like this combination of sort of house with yeah. jazz drums. Okay, it's quite, quite cool. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, before you do that, then, do you, want, do you want to do? I wanted to add in. I want to add in whatever is the best shaker. Yeah, that, that's one of, those, one of those shakers that is really intense. Like sort of, it's like very quiet, very soft. It's quite, yeah, quite intense vibe. I mind hearing that coming in from verse two. On yes. The Produce it! Produce this motherfucker! Come on, Matt! Take the reins! <laughs> What's your favorite shake you've heard so far? No! Not that one! No! No! There you go. We need a proper shaker. No. <laughs> too many shakers. Ladies and gentlemen, we have too many shakers to choose from, and we're losing the direction. Scrap the whole shaker idea. That's not a shaker. Shaker. Have you ever been experienced? Oh, 
it's at this point where the engineer is just, pull, just like, yeah, you guys uh, experiment with that shaker there. I'm just going to kind of uh, take them out of the mix anyway. Let's keep running up the studio hours. Candelabra cam. Whoa. That sounds good. Sounds good as it gets. Um, good. Well, they're one of the few bands that seem like they're actually trying to do something different, pushing into areas that a lot of other bands hadn't pushed into. One of the things I think that I find really interesting is I worked for this uh, composer named Philip Glass, and these guys didn't know it, but they said that they were using a lot of composition methods that were very similar to his. Oh, really? Um, and uh, I think that's what he's in a rock context. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, yeah, follow me this way, and don't let the door hit you behind. Oh, really? Okay. You're out. have a talk. These guys are taking over your position. All right, you got a good groove, but yeah. If you're going to do it, I will try to do it as quick as you can. How are you going to so feel when Dom well, starts playing they piano? Can. Well, they, they, you know, they won't like but I, I, I That is Dom. Problem with it, but it goes on That's not Dom. Right. That's Dom. So oh, it's not. Do it, get it, it is? Yeah. Get it recorded. I know the footage is a little poopy, but that's dumb. I'm out of my goddamn mind. <laughs> it looks like Matt Bellamy to me. Oh, now it doesn't. Yeah. Whoa, that's dumb. No. Dom turned into a black cat. <laughs> it's Dom's familiar. All right, let's make this album without a click track. How about that? I compel you to do that. Free the jam, baby. Free it up. Do not, do not be stuck to the constraints of a programmed click. How did that become industry standard? What the hell is going on? Ah. Now you're going to tell me that's Dom. Everybody's Dom. Dom solo album. Domination. Huh? Nice. I like it. And of course, Chris's album will be called Waltzing Home. And everything's in three. It's all waltzes. You working on there? It's arpeggios for the chords of D. Yeah, I think it would come under this category here. Fury. You can riff strings and epic stuff. Okay, so how's that going to go exactly? Well, you'll see. You'll see how it goes. You don't need to know that. We have the world crumbling. Time is running out. Hysteria. Is there a theme here? Okay. Is it me? Uh, or is the producer need to get fired? I don't know. I can't see it. I can't see it on you. No. What do you say? Puffin' bad song titles. Matt, turn it into a complete asshole just because you can. And fire this motherfucker. <laughs> well, that sounds good. 
That sounds damn good. That sounds damn good. Very Pink Floyd-esque. What is that? That is bizarre. Is that a musical instrument? I don't know what that is. Blackout. Yes. Meanwhile, back in rock and roll land. Two big bucks. Uh, every good band plays a little uh, try, try, soccer try or, as you might say, football. And let it overhang into the next section. Just bend it up a semitone. Just like into the next section. You'll see. You'll see. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice bass playing. Sounds good. What does the back of it look like? But doesn't it, the lights go up the neck as well? No, that's on my black guitar, which I should have put on. I've got a black guitar, it's got blue lights on the neck. But when you put your hand along the back of it, it looks like there's lights behind it. Yeah, there's lights coming outside it, yeah. I think this time we were interested in Richard's interpretation. I think that's because we trust him. Uh, I remember the first time we met Rich. I was You're reacting, remember? In rehearsal, and I, I mean, I'm just watching. Tom and Chris because I, I I'm thinking of witty things to say. Oh, okay. in to try and talk about <laughs> I got one. Okay. Next recording, and, um, no uh, Americans allowed in the studio ever. ever. Oh, you very, very, think there's a problem, very huh? Interesting, very, um, it seemed like he really understood a lot about the band, more, more than, maybe more than any other person we've worked with before. I'm afraid of Americans. You are? No, it's David Bowie's song. Oh. What are you doing? Stop that! That's an expensive piece of equipment! Hippie! We're not at a rave! Relax! Why is he Christ. hippie? Because he's moving it around like it's a glow stick.
like the way this sounds. of the video. Right. I don't know what's happening here, but I like it. This is like, Muse plays the nerdiest party ever. I don't know, they just hired us and they started circling us. I think it's some sort of a cult behavior. Hey, Aaron. Whoa. Infrared weird note, weirdo cam. That sounds excellent. Ooh, 16th notes on the bass. Oh. Muse live at Burning Man. That's the photo shoot for their album cover. Uh, Guys, not in the band. Sounds excellent. Excellent. String section, you sound good, but can you do it with a gas mac mask on? A gas mac. Tension is building. Very nice.
should be in some huge mansion somewhere. Getting huge mansion vibes. Now that bass and kick drum are locked. Drummer sign language. is the very definition of a bass player and drummer playing together. Oh. All work and no play. Next Jack a dull boy. Out recording in England or Los Angeles? Or both? That's definitely not England. Classic, classic muse. Cool and hitting the drums thing is possibly the weirdest thing I've seen. Is that an instrumental track or they have not they have just not added lyrics yet? Clearly can't understand yeah, a word he's saying. Bye. Uh, phone Chris. Oi. What? At all that I got bye. Tom Kirk, you're fired. I didn't. I don't know what that is. You get a pass. Tom Kirk, we gotta talk. 
I mean, I, probably at the time he just thought he was shooting footage for his, uh, his own self. He he didn't realize that at some point the band would become so enormous. Dear Tom Kirk, you fucked up. Okay, Tom Kirk, I give you a pass. I have a lot of that type of footage myself. Captain's Lock, Tom Kirk, not happening. I think you should forgive Tom Kirk on this special Thanksgiving. We forgive Tom Kirk. Now you have said in the past that this is your favorite era, the 2003-2004. This, this, these muse guys, they don't age like normal people. Uh Uh-huh. No, this could have been yesterday for all I know. Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, yeah, they're a little thinner, maybe. Maybe. But not much. I didn't really even notice that. I didn't notice. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could have told me this was the most recent uh, footage and I would have believed you. Really? Even though the footage is pretty terrible? Well, I thought that was on purpose. Oh, you did? Yeah. A oh. gritty cam. Oh, no. More like shitty cam. Well, again. What? I mean, in 2003, the, there was no HD. There was no cell phones with cameras on them. It was just... You know, yeah. Not great. Yeah. I've seen some footage from the 1960s that's pristine. Right, but it's not some guy with his camera, his handy cam. True. It's true. It's not. Unless that some guy is... Is... What's the obvious choice? Spielberg. Alfred Hitchcock? Oh. Uh, so what'd you think? Thought that was cool. That was cool. Get a little insight into the uh, into the making of there. Yeah, the the album just turned to twenty. So as a part of the celebration, I think they might have re-released the album, remastered maybe. Uh, I might be mistaken, but uh, th- they definitely did just release this ten days ago. Huh, that's pretty cool. All right, now we got to get up to speed. And let's see the making of... What's the most recent one called? Oh, uh, Will of will the Will of the People? Uh-huh. It's the Will of the People. It's the Will of the People. Rise up, Grandma. Do you have Do you have any special Thanksgiving Day messages for uh, our subscribers? Oh, in these troubled times... I really feel peace on earth is, is, is more uh, important and essential now than ever. Okay. Please let your hatred pass and envelop yourself in love and peace. Okay, do you have anything that's, uh, re- like, do you, do you have a legitimate <laughs> or a, a heartfelt or a genuine message at all? Uh... Thank you very much. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, really. Thank you very much. Without you guys, who wouldn't be doing this? Hey, you Muse fans. No, but seriously. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Massive support. Now, what can I do for you? That's the question. What do I gotta do to get you to like and subscribe? I think most of the Muse folks are liked and subscribed. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. What am I saying? I got no idea. Put me on the spot and I'll become a loon. I am very thankful for the Muse. The Muse fans for, um... Absolutely. Coming back every week. I appreciate it very much. Absolutely. The making of absolutely. All right. Well, thank you. And, uh... You guys don't celebrate Thanksgiving in England, do you? Yeah, pilgrims didn't come over. They, you were, they were already there. Well, I weren't mean, they? They have their own thing, but this is our thing, so. Where did them pilgrims come from? Not everybody who likes Muse is from England. Oh yes, they are. That's not true. I know. You like them? England or Texas? Hmm. Texas, okay. Uh, eh. 
At least one guy's from Texas. You know who you are. Oh, okay. Talking to you. I know who you're talking about now. May or not, he may or may not play guitar. Definitely plays guitar. All right. Coming at you. Well, this has been quite a surprise. And uh, I hope you like our nod to Thanksgiving from across the miles. Yes. From across the I Can See for Miles Davis. <laughs> That's my album. It's the Who Plays the Songs of Miles Davis. That would be amazing. I Can See for Miles Davis. Huh? You gotta be witty. You gotta be in it to win it. Someone once said. Someone who was in it and won it. Once said. All right. Thank you very much. Peace.